of control. One is that horses, though very well trained by nature, are skittish, and I have seen them at times, you know, temps up, you know, putting um, concern as well, not for, only for the humans on the street, but for the officers on the horses as well, out of concern that if they halt. We had an incident earlier this year where a horse did bolt and the officer was thrown and ended up having to go to the hospital to be checked. Thankfully, neither the horse nor the rider were made hurt. I personally had an experience with a mounted officer that put my safety and the safety of an 82-year-old fellow protester at great risk. When the officer on the horse ordered I, the lady I was with, and four others of us that were with her, helping her to the sidewalk, we did not contest it, we did not say a word, we instantly moved toward the sidewalk. We were moving slowly though because we were going at the pace of the elderly woman we were assisting. Before I know it, I got hit. I am now fighting to keep from falling. When I turned, what I saw was it was a mounted officer who had sidestepped his horse and was hitting me, my left hip. I was moving to the sidewalk. I was just not moving fast because I was moving at the pace of the elderly woman I was with. To look at me, you would think I am fine, but as you could see, Mr. Robbie had to assist me up because my balance was very bad. Fortunately, I did not fall, but it concerns me that they had hit the elderly lady and she did fall. What if she had fallen and broken a hip? Personally, I believe there's a much better use for the horses. I saw recently and I thought this was neat how the mounted force was used down Pioneer, Horse, Pioneer Courthouse Square to do as a public relations um, event for the police force. Love seeing the pictures of the excited kids getting to pet the horses. They are also good for tire could be great animals for use for therapeutic riding uh, programs. So uh, I do ask that you consider retiring them as crowd control. Thank you.